Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to install Sprout the uh, mod pack. It's Explore for More made by the Phoenix Lodge. Now I hope I pronounced that right. That was a little weird. It's basically an exploration RPG pack in an immersive world. I will get into the overview later, but as you can see, this is in the Twitch desktop app. This is uh, the way to play Minecraft mod packs. Trust me guys, it's great. And uh, if you guys don't recognize this, this is actually Curse, but the new version of it where Twitch kind of combined and added their own twist. Uh, so yeah, they partner up or whatever happened. And as you can see, these are like just a bunch of games you can check out and you have, they have live streams for it. As you can see like Super Smash Bros. Melee, uh, they have Minecraft somewhere down here, Minecraft, and you can check those. Uh, I might try to actually live stream too, that would be kind of dope. Uh, other than that, that's kind of it. Uh, if there's anything else, I would say uh, the whole... I'll get into it later. There's a lot of stuff. But first, how do you install it? I will have a link in the description below in which you guys can use that easiest way. But if you want to find it out your own way, this is how you do it. You go into your browser, and as you can see, that's Twitch App TV. But... I will go from Google. So basically, you search Twitch app, this desktop app, and basically the link you're looking for is app.twitch.tv. You press on that, and it brings you up to this page. This is what you're looking for. Uh, you can launch a browser. I've never done that, but I would just recommend to download it. It's a lot easier. It's a simple, it's clean, uh, nothing will happen unless your computer has already had like viruses from before. But uh, trust me, it works. Press download, go through the process, shouldn't take too long. And you can save it on your desktop or to your taskbar, whichever you like. And then you come here and as you can see, I have my own profile. The way this works is you um, log in with your curse your Twitch, or even your Steam account. And then you uh, are able to connect with friends, add them, and even watch live streams. So that's kind of dope. You can even communicate. So this is kind of like Curse and uh, Twitch's way to like create something, a platform for all gamers to be able to communicate while playing games or watching them. So you can make communities, uh, call each other, and that's basically kind of like a summarization. As you can see, a lot of my fans just add me. They contact me. And it's kind of dope. Uh, there's different tabs over here for the Twitch. There's a library here. And there's the mods here. What you're looking for is the mods. Uh, as you can see, you press Minecraft. Uh, if it doesn't show up, uh, I would say you either don't have the actual Minecraft, like an account. Or you have like a McCrack account maybe. Or a Crack Minecraft, which might not show up which usually won't definitely won't show up or uh, you might have to go to the settings which is like here you press settings and figure that out um, I don't know too much about that I usually just appears for me and hopefully it does for you as you can see this is a list of all the mod packs I've already installed uh, but what we're looking for we will have to go through browse all mod packs now I don't know if it's gonna be here but it's all right because it is here but all you guys have to do is search in this bottom one, not the top one. The top one searches through like the entire Twitch. So basically, if you search like maybe Sprout Mod Pack, there might be like a live stream Twitch of it or something. So that's kind of dope. Uh, I definitely spelled that wrong. <laughs> but yeah, Sprout right here. So you press install. And while that's getting installed, I'll read the overview. It also has catalog, which is information on what they add in the newest updates and version. Now in overview, it says many packs that thought that they are exploration focused. Here I present one that is in a truer sense than nearly all before it. Explore an immersive world full of custom structures to find NPCs, some of whom have quests for you, but be careful. There are many dangers lurking for the unprepared, especially as you travel further from spawn. The pack also comes with two distinct pack mods. Normal, mo mo normal, normal mode, sorry about that, uh, which is uh, rece recipes are tweaked a bit. All of the 
exploration content is there, but not absolute required. That is the default mode, scavenger mode, the truer version of the mod of the pack. Some items and blocks lack recipes and must be obtained by exploring and interacting with NPCs and the world around you. Significantly more difficult than the normal mode, in part due to all the armor being scavenged. If an item is scavenged affected when uh, scavenge mode, it will have a tool tool tip in gold text stated scavenged or purchased from. To change the scavenger mode in the game, use command pack mode set scavenger. Uh, so as you can see, they really went all out to try to get this uh, to be as exploration orientated as possible. Uh, I like how they have two different modes. I assume that's like before you create the world and we will kind of try that. Um, I will actually try to open it up for you guys so you can kind of see how it works. And I don't, I think this is a big mod pack because it looks like there's 151 mods and that's a good amount. So if you guys don't have beefy computers and like you try opening it and it crashes, I would say it doesn't work most likely. Um, also, there is the new FDB Unstable 1.12, so I would recommend you guys to go check that out. Uh, also, a shout out to my very own mod pack, which is called Wondercraft. Um, please go download that. I really want this to blow up. It is a great one. It's fun, filled with a bunch of mods, and I even added uh, this drugs mod, which has the most recent one. So that's really dope. All right, should almost be done. There you go. So we're going to try to launch it. And then I'll also show you guys um, what it does, basically. So as you can see, it opens up your actual just normal Minecraft launcher with this in mind. And then you play. So you should be like logged into your actual Minecraft. If it's logged out, you just log back in. And that's not that's all there is to it, really. All right, so it finally loaded up. Man, that took a while. Um, it's crazy. Uh, huh. please don't crash on me. I beg you. All right. Uh, oops, not mods. We're gonna go to options. First thing we're gonna do is uh turn this to like fifty. Music off, what I usually do, and then the GUI can go to um large. Now I don't know how long this will take to load up a world. But let's try it, you know. It's whatever. ATG. Ultimate. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. <laughs> it said it's going to like spawn a bunch of villagers and like NPCs and adventuring. So let's see what that's all about. Oh my lord. What is going on? Um... What the? What? These are half blocks? What? What is? What is going on? Oh my lord. Oh, I definitely need to turn down the settings. That's why. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to do that. There you go. Should be a lot faster now. But holy crap, what what is going on? There's like Hereford cows. Um man, what what is this? This is crazy. Is this some kind of manual? What there's a windmill! There's a windmill in the house with um there's oh my god. This is actually a dope mod pack. What the heck? It goes up somewhere. Let's see where it takes us. Uh, doesn't take us anywhere. Okay, so we have to choose a right route. Um, I don't know what that is for, but let's go all the way down here. Let's see what these houses are all about. So we're supposed to explore, I believe. Oh my, what is that? There's footsteps. Holy crap, that's kind of dope. Small s sandstone. 
Jeez, man, what? W- there's a farmer and everything. Like, let me let me turn all this down like crazy much. There's a farmer. I got seeds. This chest is empty. What are you saying, sir? Hi there. Oh my god, this is berserk. Wow. It definitely needs a beefy computer, guys. Oh my god, what? I heard a blacksmith. What is all this? This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is. There's a. Oh my god. Who are you? The librarian. Yes, librarian, take me home. Holy crap, man, what? There's a kid! Baby girl, who is you? Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! There's a water wheel. Oh, what, what, there's fire going on there. What is that? There's a dragon! What? Who's who's killing a the dragon? There's a fire dragon. What? What the crap? Guys, I have the biggest O face ever. I am actually so confused. Okay, this is really crazy, guys. But um, I would definitely recommend to check this out. Jeez, you need a beefy computer. But go check this out. What the heck? My mind is blown. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.